guys, welcome to the AutoZam AZ1. This is as Japanese as it gets. So I'm just starting to learn about K-Cars here on the Tedward Drives channel. I've always loved them, I, I just haven't been able to readily identify them. But this, I know I've seen this in New York before. This is actually a pretty rare K-Car because when Mazda was developing it, they released it in 1992 just as Japan hit a recession. So they sold less than 4,500 of these where Honda and Suzuki sold like over 30,000 of the Beat and the Cappuccino. So this is the A of the ABC K cars. But it's mid-engine, it's three-cylinder, it revs to 9,000 RPM, and it's a 657cc engine. That's the thing, they had to be under, I believe at the time, 660 to qualify as a K car. Basically, they're city cars that are highway legal. This one is especially awesome because you've got supercar-like doors. Now, I told my little cousin, he's 11 years old, if I got a hold of a Lamborghini or something with flippy doors, I would come and get him. Clark, I'm sorry. I think you're in school today. I can't come get you in this car, but just know that this is like your size car. If you're 11 years old, this is your like go-kart supercar. They get to this motor. Here we go. Everything is definitely in front of that rear axle, proper mid-engine. You can look straight down into that exhaust. I think this is actually be pretty easy to service if you were doing your own work. Although maybe those belts are a little tricky to get to. Up front, Definitely lots of racing inspired imagery here. It kind of reminds me of like the RS200, right? That's kind of like that rally car deal under the front. I think there would have been a spare tire there, but yeah, there's really no storage space here. You are, uh, you're pretty much limited to what you can fit in the car and behind the front seats. But we've got a strut bar here to make it a little more rigid. The car is already incredibly rigid because of these gullwing doors, because that allows us to have the frame right up in the middle of your hips. Today we have carbon tubs. This is as good as you were gonna get back then. But if you look at the design language, there's a lot of kind of Italian heritage here. And these little strakes kind of remind me of the Testarossa. They were definitely going for a race car look. Another thing you'll notice, so this is the door handle there, Another thing you'll notice is that when you look at the top, uh, it does have AZ1 written right here. So when you are outside of the car looking down on it, which unless you were a child, you would be, you know exactly what it is. And I don't read Japanese, but I can tell 155-65 R13 tells me that these are very skinny tires mounted on a 13-inch wheel. Oh. Tell you what, if you can't go for the Porsches and Ferraris, you've got to go for the little tiny Econo cars. These are fun. And when you're all belted in, just reach up, grab your strap, and you're in. Now, admittedly, I can be a little clunky with right-hand drive stick shifts, so you're gonna have to forgive me just a little bit on this one if I'm awkward with it, but I'm gonna do my best. Ooh, it's gonna get hot in here. That's the big problem with the AZ-1. It's all glass, so when you are, uh, Man, this town is so bizarre. What else am I gonna see here today? I thought I was the smallest thing on the road. Apparently not. I've been told you've got to rev it out to extract all the power out of it. See, that guy thinks he's in a little sports car. He has no idea. See, it only weighs 1,600 pounds, so even though it's got 63 horsepower, it does quite a bit with it. We haven't really dipped into the revs yet. Does rev to 9,000 RPM. That is fantastic. Confirmed. The 
The seating position is very Italian but opposite because instead of my feet being over to the right, they're over to the left, so it definitely is a strange place to be. It kind of combines this like old school RS Porsche vibe with the old school Ferrari Dino or Testarossa vibe, but all in the tiniest, strangest package you can imagine. with someone in this thing, you are going to die. Everything you want out of a modern car that is lacking, this car has. So visibility is like very odd. I'm not left-handed, that's weird. I literally just reached with my right hand to adjust that, not left-handed. Visibility is odd. There's definitely a lot of it. There's a lot of glass and we've got a little bug friend who's gonna come along for a ride with us uh, The chassis is so rigid Another thing about these JDM cars you've got to get used to using the directional on your right I am very bad at that. So I tend to accidentally engage wipers is probably obviously modified. You've got all kinds of different stuff going on. I'll get the spec list from uh, the tuner in the description, but it's very easy to drive, frankly. I, I was expecting this to be more complicated, more ridiculous. It's actually very comfortable. You just jump in and go. Still reaching over with my right hand to jiggle the stick. So you will notice that there's two gauges that are not functioning, the fuel gauge and the temperature. Um, it's full of fuel, we checked that, uh, and, and one would hope that this is going to uh, give us all kinds of warnings if something bad happens with the coolant or oil temp. speed and it's designed to go out on the highway it is it is road legal it's supposed to be able to do this and it's weird when you're smaller than the fit it drives pretty nice though it's driving in a straight line I, I, I have no complaints. This is a great little car. If I own this car, I'm not totally sure what I would do with it because I would definitely drive it. I would use it around town, but you're pretty vulnerable out here in these K cars. That is for certain. But I suppose if you are somebody who is like, maybe motorcycles aren't my thing anymore, they're too dangerous, a little K car is the way to go. somebody who has a lot of speeding tickets and you have a need for speed and and you can't be tamed and everything you're driving is just too fast maybe the az1 is the car for you because i'm on the ground i'm i'm sitting on tarmac right now it is outrageous how low and just one with nature i am right now there's no room in the car which is one of the reasons why this one didn't sell very well back in the day because the other cars i think were less cramped uh, this would be good for you because maybe it would give you that like fast, low, claustrophobic feeling that you're looking for and then you wouldn't get so many speeding tickets. Nothing like traffic in the AZ1 and we don't have much of a window, okay? We've just got kind of like the little, the pass through for, uh, for your, your, your toll ticket or I guess if you're getting a speeding ticket, you'd want to open the door for the cop. Booze comes on aggressively. When that little turbo spools, it 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 lets you know. I'll 
I'll tell you what though, I'm a little scared to push it because it's so short, it's so little that like if it decided to snap on me, I mean, I'm in a wheelbase this big, mid-engine. I mean, what what good, co no good could come of that. This thing is just gonna snap and spin on you. You'd be dead in a heartbeat. So you do have to be careful in it. Sam AZ1, I don't know what else to tell you. It's funky, it's fun, it's tiny, it's raw. JDM cars are fantastic. This throws you way out of your comfort zone because it's right-hand drive, it's 657 cc's, it's turbo, all, it's gold wings, man. It's a supercar for the everyman, for a strange man, for just odd people. I like it. So thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive, and I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to those who are donating on Patreon and keeping this channel alive. See ya.